Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. In Publisher, you can customize the backgrounds of the publication pages themselves using the various fill effect formatting that can also be applied to shapes and pictures. You can click the background button in the page background group on the page design tab within the ribbon and this will display a drop-down menu of default page background choices. You can click on any of these choices to apply it to your currently selected page as a background. You can also click the No Background choice in this drop-down menu to remove a page background that you have applied to a page. If you want to create a custom page background, select the More Backgrounds command from the drop-down menu that appears. This will display the Fill category within the Format Background task pane. You can use this to fill the background of the page with a custom design. To apply a solid color as your page background, select the Solid Fill option button. Then use the Color drop-down to select the desired color to apply. You can then use the Transparency slider to set the level of color transparency to apply. If you need to select a specific color not available in the Colors button drop-down palette of color choices, then select either the More Colors command to open up the Colors dialog box, or select the Tints command to open up the Tints dialog box. If you open up the Colors dialog box, you can then select any color you want from the tabs within the Colors dialog box, and then click the OK button to apply it. If you open up the Tints dialog box, select a color of tint to apply, and then click the OK button to apply it. To apply a gradient ba background, click the Gradient Fill option. Choose from one of the preset gradients by making a selection from the Presets Gradients drop-down. To make a custom gradient, use the buttons and sliders shown to customize the gradient. Use the Type drop-down to select the type of gradient to use. Linear, which changes colors from one side across a straight line, or Path, which follows the path of the line that you draw. If you select Linear, select the specific variation to use from the Direction drop-down. You may change the angle at which the gradient changes color by entering the desired angle in degrees into the Angle Spinner box. The Gradient Stop section allows you to set the number and appearance of changing points in the gradient's color scheme. At its most basic level, a gradient must have at least two gradient stops. You can have more if desired. In the Gradient Stop section, click a gradient stop to select the gradient stop whose properties you wish to set. You can click and drag a gradient stop to change its position within the gradient, or you can enter its position as a percentage into the Position Spinner box. Then use the color drop-down to set what color you want the gradient to be at the selected point. Use the transparency slider to set the level of transparency for that selected gradient stop. To add more gradient stops, click into the gradient line at the spot where you wish to place the new gradient stop. Or you could also click the Add Gradient Stop button to the right of the gradient as well. To remove a gradient stop, Select the stop and then click the Remove Gradient button. Make sure that the stop that you wish to remove appears highlighted. Back at the top of the task pane in the Fill Category options, you can choose the Picture or Texture Fill option button to fill the page background with a texture or another image of your choosing. Textures are simply preset images that are included in Publisher. To apply a preset texture, Select a choice from the Texture drop-down. To use a picture located on your computer, click the File button to open up the Insert Picture dialog box, where you can select the image file from your computer to insert. You can also copy an image to use, and then click the Clipboard button to paste the copied contents of your clipboard into the background of the image. Note that you must have an image copied onto your clipboard in order for this option to not appear grayed out. 
To insert an online picture into the background, click the Online button to open up the Insert Pictures window, where you can search for online pictures to insert into the background of the image. You can set the amount of transparency to apply to the background image by using the Transparency slider. Also, to tile or repeat the background image, check the Tile Picture as Texture checkbox. Then in the Tiling Options section, set the Offset X, Offset Y options to set the amount of horizontal and vertical offset to apply to the tiled background image. Also, use the Scale X and Scale Y spinner boxes to set the percentage of the image to display in the tiled background. Then use the Alignment drop-down to set the alignment of the background image within the page. You can also use the Mirror Type drop-down to select the type of reflection to apply to the tiled image in the background. If you deselect this checkbox, you will instead see the offset options for the image appear. You can change the background image's offset settings here. Use the offset left, offset right, offset top and bottom spinner boxes to input the percentage by which the image should be offset from the selected side. To set a pattern fill for the page background, choose the pattern fill option. Then select a desired pattern to use as the fill for the image from the choices shown in the pattern section. You can also use the foreground and background color drop-downs to set the desired foreground and background colors to use for the selected fill pattern. When you have finished setting the page background, click the OK button within the Format Background Task pane to apply it. If you have made a mistake or you do not like the page background, you can either click the Undo button or go to the Background and select No Background. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.